This really wish I had a go from the Deku Tree. Crocker and his time master quest only. To Dodongo's cavern. Crocker and his time master quest only. The Golden Skulls numbering will be different in this video. The locations will be the same. Here you get Golden Skulls number two out of a hundred. Death Mountain Trail. Day or night. And here's a quick little trick that will show you how to duplicate your bugs so you never need to catch them over again. Here's Gertie Valley. Golden Skulltula number three, day or night. As you can see, we now have three golden sculptures. Here's the graveyard. Golden sculpture number four out of a hundred. Day or night. You want to dump the bugs in the soft soil location again and wait for the golden skull to come out. And now you have four golden skull Here's where you get Golden Skulltula number 5, her Royal Castle. Day or night. As you can see, we now have 5 Golden Skulltulas. Here's where you get Golden Skulltula number 6 out of 100. Night only, Kakariko Village. And here's Golden Skull number seven, Kakariko Village, night only. Here's where you get Golden Skull number eight, Kakariko Village, night only. And here in Kakariko Village, you get Golden Skulltula number nine, 
night only. You wanna climb up this ladder and collect your token. Here's where you get Golden Sculpture number 10. Night only, Kakariko Village. And here's where you head to the Sculpture House to get your first reward. And here, and over here, you'll find one of the kids who gives you a reward. He gives you the adult's wallet, which allows you to carry up to 200 rubies. And here in Cockring Forest, you get Golden Sculpture number 11. Day or night. Here in Cockery Forest, you'll get Golden Sculpture number 12, night only. Here you want to do a jump attack and collect the token. At this point, you want to head to Lake Hylia. Over here you'll find Golden Sculpture number 13, Lake Hylia, night or, or day. For this next golden sculpture, you want to swim way out here and over to this platform in the water. And this is golden sculpture number 14 in Lake Hylia, night only.
The next place you want to head is Long Long Ranch. Here you'll find Golden Skull for number 15, day or night. And over here at Lawn Lawn Ranch, you'll find Golden Sculpture number 16, night only. After that, you want to head to the Lost Woods. Goes to number 17, day or night. Here's where you get Golden Skull number 18. Day or night. First you want to head over here to the right. Then over here to the left. Then to the right. Then head to the left. Then head to the left one more time. And here's where you get Golden Sculpture number 19 in the market, day or night. Here's where you get Golden Skulls number 20, Zora's River, day or night. And now you want to head back to the Skulltula house to get your next reward.
Here's where you get the Stone of Agony. It rumbles to nearby secrets. And here's and this video shows you how to get piece of heart number one back alley. And if you picked out the dog I showed in this video, she will reward you with a piece of heart. And here's Death Mountain Trail, piece of heart number two. I use a little trick to get this piece of heart. You'll want to backflip here and then head out forward and pick up the piece of heart. Piece of heart number two, Death Mountain Trail. And now you want to head back to Gertie's Valley. Once you head in Gurdu Valley, the first thing you want to do is head across this little bridge. Over here you want to pick up this cuckoo. And head over here. And jump down over here. Land on this ledge. And then you get piece of part number three, Gertie Valley. Now you want to head back to Gertie Valley again. In this area, you'll want to watch out for the pea hat. You see these guys coming after you, you want to L target them and let them hit your shield.
going to head across this bridge again. Then you want to head to this next bridge. And jump down over here. Then you want to jump down over here behind the waterfall. Then climb up the ladder. Pick up the piece of fart. Piece of fart number four. Dirty Valley. Next thing you want to do is head to Gorin City and light these torches with your Deku stick. After they're all lit, the boss will start spinning. Then you want to head up these stairs. Here you want to pick up the bomb flower, head down the stairs, and throw it over here into this boss. You may have to do this a few times because it may not always land on the right face for you to get the heart container. Then you want to head down and pick up the piece of heart. Now you have a piece of part number five, Goring City. Here you'll want to open a shortcut using these bomb flowers. And now as you can see, a pathway has opened from the Lost Woods to Gorin City. For the next piece of heart, you have to wait for night to come normally. And then head up the stairs. If you play the sun song, Dampy won't be there. This is Graveyard, piece of art number six. Over here you'll find Dampy. You'll want to dig in the areas where you see the soft soil. If you try to dig on the rocks, you won't get anything. And the piece of art will always be on one of these soft soil locations. 
it'll be different every time you play the game. And you finally got the piece of part number six in the graveyard. There's another piece of part that you can get in the graveyard. You want to head over here and pull this grave right here. Then you want to jump down. And play the sun song here. Right here you want to play the sun song to reveal the hidden treasure chest. Open the treasure chest to get pizza part number seven in the graveyard. Here in Kakariko Village, I'll be showing you a little trick to get a piece of heart early. You want to climb up this tower. Use L targeting. And jump about right. Jump about right there. Land on the fence. And climb up on the building. Then you want to talk to this guy. Who will give you a piece of heart? Piece of heart number eight, Kakariko Village. Here's where you get piece of heart number nine in Kakariko Village. You want to come over here and pick up this cuckoo, head up these stairs. Throw the cuckoo over over here. Pick up the cuckoo. Throw him again. And then pick up the cuckoo again. Here you want to jump at the right time. At this point you want to jump over. And jump over here. And here's where you get piece of heart number nine.
Here you want to pay the fishing man to fish. Now you want to head over here and this video shows you the 11 pound fish. The only point of this video was to show you that there is a fish in here that's bigger than 10 pounds. This one was caught done out of order. and you've caught the 11 pound fish. You'll want to head over to the counter to turn it in. And he rewards you with a piece of heart. And here's where I catch a 10 pound fish. Piece of fart number 10 in Lake Hylia. and you caught the 10 pound fish. You need to catch a fish that weighs 10 pounds or more to get the piece of heart. And you wanna turn, turn in the fish. And you get piece of fart number 10 in Lake Hylia. And here you want to turn in your fishing rod. Ex exit the pond. Then come back in. You need to do this four times for the Hylian Lux to appear. But depending on how many times you've been in the game, depends on how many times you need to do it. The first thing you want to do is head over here. And look over here to see if you can see the Hylian Lux. Thank you. 
Now as you can see the Highland Loach isn't there so you want to exit the pond and re-enter. Then you want to pay the fish again. Then you want to head back to the same spot. And it looks like the hydrogen loach is in the fishing pond. The first thing you want to do is head over here, seeking the location number one over here by these rocks. Then you want to head over here, and on the middle rock, you'll find seeking the location number two in the middle rock. Here's where you find seeking the location number three over here in the grass. Over here, you'll find Seeking Lure location number four, over here on this log. And you can tell the fishing fishermen that you're using lure if you want, it's optional. Here you want here is where you see me catching the Hydrian Lunch. It took a few tries before I was able to catch him. In this video I'll be showing you the 12 pound fish in the pond. And now for the biggest fish in the pond. And here's where you see me catching the Hylian Lux, the biggest fish in the pond. It took me a few tries to catch the Hylian Loach. And now you finally caught the Hylian Loach, weighs 16 pounds. And now you want to head back to the counter and have them weigh your fish.
and, and after that you want to head to Lawn Lawn Ranch. Piece of heart number 11. You want to you climb on this crate. Pull this crate back. Climb on top of the crate. And then push the crate out of your way. And here you'll find the crawl hole. Crawl through this hole to get the piece of heart. And this next piece of art is piece of art number 12, Lost Woods. You want to head over here and play serious song to the skull kit. For this next piece of heart, you want to head into the Lost Woods. Head over here to the right. And then head down this area. Then head over here and check out your rock arena. To win this piece of heart, you need to go through three sessions with the Skull Kids. And here, and here is your second session. And here's the third and final session. Thank you. 
And after the third and final session, you'll be awarded with the piece of art. After this, you want to head to the second forest meadow, where you'll find Fairy Fountain number one. You want to jump down here and catch some fairies in a bottle if you think you, you're going to need it. The next thing you want to do is upgrade your slingshot. You want to head to the Lost Woods over here, get three perfect bullseyes, and you get slingshot upgrade number one. And here you want to pay this guy for the shooting gallery game. And here your goal was to hit all 10 rubies. And now that you finally beat the game with getting all 10 rubies, you win the upgraded bullet bag. And here's infinite ruby method number one. There's a few methods in this game, some are better than others. Every time you exit and ring this area, the rubies will respawn, along with the pots. And here's where you get Super Fairy number one. This fairy will refill your health to full and your magic meter to full. This fairy cannot be caught in a bottle. Thank <laughs> you. 
You want to head over here, pick up the bomb flower, and blow up the rock. Then you want to pick up another bomb flower and bomb the other rock. Then you want to blow up this other rock. Pick up the final bomb flower. And use it to bomb the final rock. And here you find a huge Goran. And here you'll want to open up Goran's shop using your Deku Sticks. And here's where you get to see Navi's response at this point in the game. And here you'll see Saria's response at this point in the game. And here you'll see a random tree that will give you hearts if you need hearts or rubies if you're full on hearts. You want to head in Kakariko Village and then head back out Kakariko Village. It responds every time you exit the map. Over here is random tree number two that has hearts and rubies. Then you want to head in Lon Lon Ranch. Then head back out of Lon Lon Ranch. And now you'll get three rubies. Over here you'll find random rock number one. That gives you hearts and rubies. It works the same way that the tree does. And here is this, the second random rock with hearts and rubies. And here's our message number one. Here's our message number two. You want to you want to head out of Lake Hylia.
then, then you want to play the sun song. Then you want to play the sun song again. Then you want to head up this ladder. Jump over here into the fence and talk to the owl again. And here's where you find owl message number three. And here the owl will take you back to the castle if you want him to. Here you'll find random hole number one. Down here you'll find a treasure chest and a fish. Then you want to head back out. And here you'll find random hole number two. You want to pick up this cuckoo, head up these stairs, Climb over this fence with A. Jump down. Fall down into the hole. Here you'll find another treasure chest. That's the end of this video.